Hey there, this is the third part of the Counter Strike 1.6 dedicated server tutorial. In the previous part, I told you how to configure or customize your server, and this is the continuation of the tutorial. And here, I will also tell you how to fire up or launch your server for the first time. So, let's get started. These are operation commands sv underscore plan. I will highly recommend it to set it to 0. Don't set it to 1 because we are setting a both LAN and Internet clients server. If you set it to 1, then this server will be restricted to LAN clients only. If you don't know what are LAN and Internet clients, just ignore it, just set it to 0. SV underscore region 255, the region of the world to report the server in. It's 255 for world, 0 for US East Coast, 1 for US West Coast, 2 for South America, 3 for Europe, 4 for Asia, 5 for Australia, 6 for Middle East, and 7 for Africa. I have set it to 255 for world. SP desk of contact chetanya95 at gmail.com. Contact email for server admin. So, whenever a player types slash admin in the game, he will be shown this email address to contact the server admin. So, you can set it to your email ID if you want. Rates configuration these are used to reduce lags in the game. I will tell more about them in my future tutorials, not now. Logging is used to log all the information displayed on the console in a text file. Log all the information means to write all the information. Log off. I will recommend it to set it to on for now because you are creating a server for the first time and if some error or something happens, you will be able to debug it because the error will be written in a log file. Rest all the commands are not useful. These are execute ban files. This will execute ban files which would contain information about the players which you have previously banned in your game. So they won't be allowed to join. These are other files to execute. You can create more configuration file. I will first save this file using file save or just press Control S. You can create other configuration files such as this is server.cfg. You can create a new configuration file such as uh, new. I will go to new text document. I will write new and then remove the txt and change the extension to cfg. Yes. So I have created a new configuration file just like the server.cfg. Server.cfg will automatically be executed by the console on starting of the game but new.cfg won't be executed so if you want to execute new.cfg so you, you you can write the file to be executed in server.cfg you can write it like exec new.cfg and here you can post all the other covers you want okay so I won't be needing new.cfg now. So I can delete it. Now let's save it. So this is the basic configuration of server.cfg. Other file which I have posted is autoexecute.cfg in which you have a command max players. It will set the maximum players you want in your server. I have set it to 12 for now. So there will be only 12 maximum players in my server. This command mp underscore team play, let it be to 21, possible 0. Next is map d underscore dust 2. This will be the default map which will run on starting of the server. So I have set to d underscore dust 2 for now. Let it be this way. So this completes the basic configuration of your server. Next is to fire up the server. We are going to fire up the server, but it won't work for now. I will show you why it won't work. But we are going to fire for now. For that, we go to our HLDS directory in the Steam CMD. And here we have HLDS.exe. What we do is right click on it, go to Send to, and Desktop Create Shortcut. Now we have a shortcut of the file in the desktop. Go to the shortcut, go to right click it and go to the properties. In the target, 
we type first we give a space then type minus game space cs strike let me zoom it a bit then space minus console minus no ipx space minus secure space plus port space 27019 this is the port we have set up you can set up up to any number you want but let it be to 27019 for now because you might not know what is a port so just keep it to 27019 click on apply now we can fire up the server just click on hlds.exe error reading application id please see the writer to steam and stuff or use the launcher okay so to fix this bug we will go to the steam cmd directory and go to hlds here we will create a new file new text file and we will name it as steam underscore app id dot txt and in this file we are gonna write 10 and save it if you are not facing this error you don't need to create this file but if you are facing the same error which i have faced now you need to create this now we will launch our hlds again and it crashed again and this time there was a fatal error and to fix this error i have a script which is called fix.bat and i have provided it in the link description so you can just run this file as an administrator and it will fix the error you don't need to know what it does it will just fix the error now you can launch your hlds again and this time it didn't show any error and our server has started this is the basic configuration of the server just to play with the steam clients this is not yet ready to play with non steam and you can install more plugins such as amx mode from which you can customize a lot more so i will teach about them in my following tutorials so for now this is the basic configuration for a steam server but this is not yet ready for steam clients also because you haven't port forwarded your router to accept connection through the server so if you want to test if your server is running or not what you can do is visit css city.info here you can type the ip and the port of your server to know the ip of your server go to whatismyip.com here it will show your ip just copy the ip paste it followed by colon your port port is the one which we have put here port 27019 so we have to put the same port over here is to 27019 game type counter strike 1.6 capture n b n 6 add server try again later i will try again so it showed no info from our ip support could not request server information 
so basically the server is not ready yet you have to open the ports and how to open the port i will show it in my next tutorial the link to the next tutorial must be available on the screen or you can go to my playlist and have all the cs tutorial in a list so thank you for watching and stay tuned